There is a new sheriff in town when it comes to government rules here in the U.S. President Trump's pick as his regulations czar has made it through the confirmation process. Correspondent Kevin Cork is traveling with the president tonight and reports from New Jersey. She will head the Trump administration's efforts to toss out the rules that big businesses don't like. Massachusetts Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren is talking about the Trump administration's new regulatory czar, Naomi Rao, a former law clerk to Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Rao was confirmed by the Senate by a vote of 54-41 to lead the OMB's Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs, otherwise known as OIRA. That's the agency that oversees government regulations, giving her her the power to lead the White House's effort to reject or slow walk new rules while rescinding others altogether. Naomi Rao is an excellent addition to a team that's already committed to the president's agenda of deregulation. Said Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, I look forward to working with Professor Rao to reduce the burden of regulations by our best estimates as high as two trillion dollars a year that weigh on the American economy. Beginning with his very first day on the job, the president has signed a cannonade of executive orders and memoranda targeting policies impacting the environment, health care, infrastructure, and more. An effort that's also seen the number of new regulations slow to a crawl, with just 15 new rules approved between Inauguration Day and the end of May. By comparison, 93 were green-lighted over the same period by President Obama, 114 by President George W. Bush. We did not become great through regulation. And in the United States, Mr. President, we also have cut regulations at a level that we've never seen before. So we're very proud of that. Whether abroad or at home, cutting regulation has been a major focus of this administration. Critics worry that regulatory cuts will put the interest of big business ahead of the American people. Regulations save lives. They keep people from being sick. They l allow people to work and go to school. And we need to be very careful not to lose those benefits. To be sure, it's not easy to deregulate the government. Keep in mind, the Trump administration would still face things like cost-benefit analysis, public comment periods, which, as you know, can take a while, lengthy rewrites, and, to be sure, in most cases, legal challenges by opponents. A long road still ahead. Brett? Kevin Cork in Piscataway, New Jersey. Kevin, thanks.